Hi everyone, my name is Hannah and I am a nutrition educator with Cornell Cooperative Extension of Jefferson County. And today I'm here for another video in our series on healthy family snacking. So I'm gonna take care of the healthy snacking part and I have my friend Heba here to talk about the family part. Hi, this is Heba. I work for Family Advocacy Program located at 10250 Fourth Armor Division, for Drum. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about routines and why routines are important for kids. Awesome. I'm so excited to dive into today's topic and the recipe. This week's recipe is making zucchini fries or baked zucchini sticks, whatever you like to call them. And this is a pretty perfect video for this time. Um, a lot of farm stands are overflowing with zucchini. That's where I got, oops, that's where I got mine. And I know a lot of folks are growing them in their gardens this year. And so you'll be able to make some delicious snacks out of the produce that you all have grown together. So let me go ahead and angle you down. I'm just gonna work with two today. Um, you can definitely scale this recipe up or down, but we're just gonna start by taking off the, the bottoms and the tops. And so this part right now is gonna be more of an adult part, um, or if you have older kids who can deal with smaller knives, um, but there will be some opportunities for getting your kids involved later on. So while do that, while you do that, um, I'm going to talk about routines. And as you all know, routines are very important for kids because they pro provide, <clears throat> excuse me, the two key ingredients necessary for learning, for kids learning. And those two things are relationships and repetition. We all know repetition is very important uh, when teaching a child because that's how they get can get the hang of stuff is by repeating them. So for most of us, our lives involve in a series of patterns. Routines we perform almost every day, like, like um, stopping at the same place each day for coffee or on the way to work. Um, this is also very true for babies as well, and even toddlers. While we play a part in creating routines in our children's lives, we may not fully realize the role that they play in young children's um, lives. So for example, routines and self-control, routines help babies and toddlers learn self-control because consistent routines and activities that happen about the same time and about the same way every day provide comfort and sense of safety to young children. Uh, whether it's time to play or time for a snack or even time for a nap. Uh, for a loved one to return home or time for knowing what will happen next, it will give babies um, or toddlers the security and emotional stability. It helps them, them learn to trust that the caring adults will provide what they need. When kids feel this sense of trust and safety, they are free to do their work, which is play, explore, and learn. Um, also, routines are very important when it comes to safety because routines are like instructions. They guide kids' actions toward a specific goal. Routines can be used for many reasons, but two of the most important reasons are ensuring kids health and ensuring kids safety and helping kids to learn positive responsible behavior. For example, kids wash hands before they have a snack or must hold mom's or dad's hands when crossing the street. All right, so now I've got my um zucchini sticks and I'm going to microwave them for three minutes. And so the reason we're microwaving them is so they start to cook a little bit and then we're going to bread them and we're going to broil them. So this makes sure that they're still going to be really soft on the inside, but we're going to allow them to get crispier later. So three minutes. Okay. And while those are microwaving, I'm going to prepare the breading. Angle you down. 
So as you can guess, the basis for the breading is going to be uh, breadcrumbs. So then to our dry um, coating, I'm gonna add some different spices. And you can see I have a lot of different options here. This is a fun way that you can get your, your child involved, um, is ask them to give each of these herbs or spices a little sniff, see if they think it would taste good. And you can change it up every time. So this time I'm gonna add some parsley flakes, and I'm just kind of going by eyeball. So about that much. I want a little bit of garlic powder, but just a little bit. So I'm gonna add a dash in there. I like mine a little bit spicy, so maybe a shake or two of red pepper flakes. About that much. I like some oregano in there. And then I have some of this like salt-free lemon pepper blend. So I'm gonna add some of this in there too uh, to give it some extra flavor. Just be warned when you are looking for seasoning blends, try to get the salt free if possible because you can always add your own salt in and it's hard to control the amount of salt you're getting if it's already added. So then I just blended this together and you can see some of the herbs and spices mixed in here. That's great, that's what I want for this. If you want your uh, zucchini sticks very, very flavorful, you can absolutely add more or add different types of spices. But this is gonna be great for now. And then I need to make the liquid solution that will help this stick to our zucchini sticks. So I'm gonna use one egg crack it in there, and a quarter cup of water. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and mix this together. Okay, so it's very important that kids know about routines. If you have a two-year-old who used to play in their truck every afternoon, uh, they get used to know that it's time to play by playing with their truck while you do something. And by the time you're, you're done with that thing, they know it's cleanup time and we need to put it away. All right, so I have my microwave zucchini. I'm just gonna go ahead and pat it dry real quick with the paper towels. You could also use a clean dish cloth if you wanted to, but this is just to remove some of the extra moisture. Zucchini has a lot of water in it, and when you heat it up, it tends to release that water. So we're just making sure that that water is not going to make our zucchini fries, zucchini sticks soggy. Just give it a loose pat. These aren't especially hot right now, so you could have a child help you with this portion as well. You might wanna put it on multiple plates uh, so it doesn't spill out all over your counter. Okay. And then once you have it fairly patted dry, you can always pat it a little bit more if you if you see it as you go on. But we're gonna go ahead and start breading them. Let me just get my station set up. And so again, this is a part that you could have a, your child help you with as well. But just be warned, you are using raw eggs, so you might need to make sure that your child is very careful about washing their hands um, before and after and not putting their fingers in their mouths. What we're gonna do is just use your hands to dip one stick in your egg water mixture and then kind of roll it in your breading mixture. And it will get mostly covered. It's okay if there's like gaps or anything like that. And we're just gonna start adding these to our tray. Routines is also important, not when it comes to play time and a cleanup time or a snack time only. It's also important in establ establishing some social skills. So if we have routines that every time we have a friend coming by, we need to teach the kids the routine of saying hello and saying hi, good morning, or good afternoon. And then after the visit is done, they will get into the routine of saying goodbye or we'll see you later or have a great time. This and even chatting with others like 
chatting with kids or chatting with visitors. All of those routines will help to teach kids some social skills. These um, routines will also help our kids to learn more vocabulary and learn more words and, and when it comes to uh, language and language skills. Uh, play playtime and mealtime are two routines that are very social times for kids and parents alike. Um, through talking, taking turns, sharing toys, learning to wait, and helping others during these activities, young kids learn importance of social skills that will help them later on when it's time to go to school. Okay. So now I've made one tray full of my zucchini fries. You can kind of see without them sliding. So I do just want to note, you do want to make sure that there is a little bit of space between them. Even though they're not going to spread or anything like that, we want to make sure that they can actually broil and get crispy on the outside instead of getting soggy. Um, so these are a really fantastic side dish for burger night, you know, replacing your traditional potato fries, shake things up a little bit. And they're also just a great snack to have on hand. So these are great to serve with um, some ranch dressing, especially if you make that ranch yourself, like we've shown in a previous video. Um, that can be a really healthy way to add some additional calcium to the zucchini fries. Mm -hmm. Thank you all so much for joining us today for this class in our healthy snacking series. I'm gonna go ahead and pop these in the oven and get these cooking. So keep watching to see that next step in the process. See you all later. Bye. Okay, so it's been about 12 minutes and I flipped them six minutes in and looking pretty golden brown. I'm gonna go ahead and take these out now. 